computer. All right. So, all right. So why, why does Lori keep being the main person here? Let me fix this so Lori is not always... All right, all right, is everybody else seeing Lori straight front and center every day at time? <laughs> yeah, I can see Lori. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, now I, can, now I can see more people, so that's good. All right, cool. So um, what Lori was just asking um, a second ago, in case anybody is interested in this, is whether or not she can send a message to all of her Twitter... Are these followers or people you follow, Lori? Uh... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm following the ones that I tweet it to, yeah. No, no, I mean, like, like because those are not the same lists of people, so you got to know the difference. So followers are people who have chosen to follow you, who have clicked the little thing, and then your fo and then people you follow are is a different group of people who may or may not follow you back. I mean, the, the Twitter etiquette is generally to follow back people who follow you. That's generally considered the nice thing to do. Um, yeah. Not everybody does. So if, if they are not following you, you can't send the messages anyway, because it's not allowed. Hmm. So you can't message people who don't follow you. That makes sense? Well, I'm not messaging them. Okay. I, I, like, so I go to POTUS, but, you know, Obama. Mm -hmm. And over on the left is tweet, tweet to him. Wow. Okay. Well, here, let, let me, let, let me get on Twitter here and we'll just look up your page and I'll go see what we're, see what the, what, what, what you've been doing and see if we can figure out how that all works together. So hang on a second. Well, I don't, I don't mean to. No, no, that, that's why we're here. That we're literally here to, to answer questions. And so, yeah, I know that's great. Well, nobody ever retweets it. So maybe I'm wasting my time. Well, let me see. Um, let's see. Lori Dameron. There you are. At least I assume that's you. With the small people. Uh, no, that's not me. Uh, What's I'm under L, L Dameron. L. Yeah, there you go. L. 95? Oh, that's weird. Uh, yeah, so Lori. Are, are you like Blues Babe Glory or something wacky like that? Are you? Well, when I sign in, I go L Damron and then I put my password. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's try it then. Damron. All right. Maybe I do the at. At L Damron. Oh, there you go. Probably a bit. Let's see if that pops up. Nothing came up with that switch. Are you absolutely sure that's your, your handle? Yeah, I just got on there today. Okay. Well, maybe take a second and, and see if you can find it. And maybe it's got some numbers on it or something like these people have. Um, yeah. You are definitely not L. Dameron because nobody is, apparently. Unless I spelled it wrong. Is that, that's how you spell well, your name? That's okay. Don't spend any more time on it. Okay. All right. Well, it's just a good, it's a good question, though. So how's everybody else doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. I was just hoping we get do something on Instagram today. All right, let's do Instagram. Oh, okay. All right. So let me get us logged into our BPW Instagram. Can I, can I have two Instagrams or just one? I, I don't know. I, I guess I've never tried both. I, I, why, why would you want two Instagrams? Well, to keep my music separate from the environmental thing. Okay. I mean, you could certainly do that. I've lost work because of it, you know? Mm, okay. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't. You, you might have to get two different email addresses attached to it. Some places, you know, make sure that you're not the same person signing it multiple times by running it against their email list. And yeah. if that's what they're doing, then I would just, you know, you, you, you know, one for your personal address, one for your business address, and that should work. So here's our BPW Colorado um, Instagram page. So edit profile. So here's our name. This is where you pick your username. You put your website on here, a little bio. They don't give you very many letters. And then our gender is female, clearly. So <laughs> um, let me see what, uh, what our profile looks like to the general public. Come on. Cancel. BPW. C-O. Yeah, I guess I just got to search for myself. BPW, C-O. 
maybe not. I just followed you. Followed. NFPPWC. All right, cool. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the NFPPWC one. Okay, so here's all the cool stuff that we have posted on Instagram for BPWC. As you can see, this is not nearly as many posts as I put on our Facebook or our Twitter or any of our other social media. Um, the reason for that is that in order to post anything on Instagram, there has to be a picture. Which, I mean, I, I realize that sounds kind of like duh, but I didn't realize that right away. So if I find a cool, let's see, so we're going to, I'm going to find an equal payday article, right? So I would have to go to this cool Wikipedia, Wikipedia is probably not a great example. We're going to go here anyway. Equal payday. Um, and I'd have to find an image that that fits this. So we have equal table flag. So I right click it and say save image as, and then I could save it on my, on my Dropbox or on my desktop or someplace like that. And then you can actually post the link. You can post the link to the equal payday page. You can post text in there, but you have to have some kind of actual image file. And I'll be totally honest, the, the amount of effort required to go into each and every link that I would normally post on social media and download an image and then re-upload the image and then put the, the link in there apparently is just 10 seconds more than I'm willing to commit most most days. So <laughs> in case anyone was wondering why our Instagram is a little bit sparse, Maybe um, could, um, I, I only include things like where we already have a flyer made up and the image itself is something relevant. Well, why don't you um, like go on the uh, Facebook page and copy some photos from there? Well, you can do that. I mean, you absolutely can do that. It's just, it's, it's just more of a pain in the butt factor because you can't just post a link like you can everywhere else. You have to come up with a media file. So just to be aware, it will not let you post things if you don't have a media file attached to it. You have to download something that has some relevance to whatever it is you're doing. Um, do you use this for uh, videos too? No, yeah. for videos you use YouTube. So we have a YouTube. No, you can do videos on Instagram. Okay. I do them all the time. All right. Well, you should go to my thing and see the. All right. Let's see. There's one of the, the videos I posted. All right. Well, it's it, it's under um. Instagram. There we go. It's under. Let me tell you the. Lori Winchan Productions. That one. Oh, see, here's Lori with with Instagram. But yeah. And this is why they reason I don't well, know much. You click on the. Click on the. The one, two, three to the right. Not that one. Don't click that, that, that one. All right. Let's go back. Yeah, that one. All right. So let's, let's play a video of Lori doing and, something. And FYI, you have to click it after you click it to, to be able to hear it. All right. Let's see if we can make it go. It's about 40 seconds, this clip. Now they used to have a rule that it was only you could only do like twenty seconds, but now they increase. Okay, check this out. You can't hear it very well, can you? I can hear it great. I don't know if anybody else can. Sorry, if you can. Okay, let's. Not. Oh, you need or not? That is cool. <laughs> All right. So, is there any link limits or anything like that on Instagram? Five seconds. So, what's that? Nothing. So, any tips you want to give to our fellow NFPWC ladies on how best to post a video on Instagram? Well, you know, I haven't figured out this one thing, but you need to, uh, if you're going to post something, it's got to be in the last three or four uh, when you open your, um, your photos for some reason. Oh. You can't go back more than four. Do you understand what I'm that saying? That might have to do with your phone, I'm guessing. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe is what kind of phone you have. Um, so for, for, for an FBPWC, so apparently you can post videos on here. I just choose to use our YouTube channel because I just haven't done this, but maybe I'll try this next time we have a video. Maybe this one, I'll post this video on our Instagram and see how it goes. So, yeah, I think the videos are pretty um, effective and, and people are, uh, they like to watch videos. Yeah, cool. 
But see how that's political, and I don't think I should have that on. I usually just use this for my music. Ah, yeah. And that's kind of political. That, that well, I, mean, I guess it kind of depends because that's that's been the advice that I mean, my my husband's a writer, and that's that's the advice he's always gotten is that you ha you risk alienating p potential readers. If you get political on your Facebook and if you're going to get political, you should do it in a little private group where none of your potential fans can see it or post it just to your friends or something like that. And so I, I think that does make sense. I mean, you do some, and depending on whether you want to work for people who disagree with you politically, maybe you don't. I mean, if you're doing political comedy or political songwriting that, that you certainly don't want to, you know, show up at a gig and sing this song and then discover that maybe this was, you know, a young Republicans convention that just booked you. I mean, I, it's probably wise to find those things. Yeah. Out. Yeah. <laughs> What'd she say? I don't know. What was that, Debbie? Scoop on it. Oops, I think we got some background noise. Hi, Debbie, did you have a question or just a small person who wants to come say hi? I'm so sorry. I didn't know I wasn't on mute. No, that's okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. And you know, honestly, the, the kids interruption can never be any worse than, than the poor guy on the BBC. <laughs> so, you know, all the rest of us who are working at home can now take a deep sigh of relief because they can't ever get any worse than that. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump off. I'll be back on in a minute. All right, cool. I will mute. I'm so sorry. No worries. So Linda, do that. Sorry, and I guess what we didn't—I didn't really ask you what your question was, Linda. Other than, do you want to do something on Instagram? What would you like to do on Instagram? Well, I don't know. I just know that I guess the millennials like Instagram, and I don't really know what it is and what you do with it. All right. Well, let's see if we can figure that out together because it's not something I've spent a lot of time doing. Um, the only thing, I, personally, the only thing I have posted on Instagram is me uh, just posting it as part of our en masse posting of things on Hootsuite, which is not super efficient. Their, their, inter, their uh, interface with Instagram is kind of clunky. So if you're using Hootsuite for your social media, just the thing to be aware of is that you have to go through like four different steps beyond just scheduling the post. Like it'll post it to your phone and then you have to go through the Instagram app by hand and repost it at the time that you said you wanted it posted. So. Oh, here's something else that I do know. Huh. Um, so I'm clicking on one of yours at the NFPBW. Uh -huh. You can add, it's, it's really helpful to add hashtags. Oh, um, yeah. So you could like add the hashtag BPW to any of your, when you add a thing to Instagram. And then that helps people who are following to see if BPW is trending. Is that the thing? Well... Like, I thought that was the point of hashtags. So um, what do you use? Well, well, for my music, for example, I put a hashtag guitar, hashtag entertainer. And if you go to one of those hashtags, there's a, a ton of other people, guitarists and I entertainers. So, so rather than doing hashtag BPW, it may be better for us to hashtag women's issues or hashtag women's education or hashtag feminism or something like that, because then we'll wind up in piles of searches for other people who are um, interested in the stuff we're doing. Because unless you're specifically hunting for BPW as a hashtag, I don't think anybody's yeah. Um, yeah, like you could just go to hashtag women's issues and see what else is there. Oh, let's go, let's try that. Before you post right. it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Much user, no, that's me. All right, there we go. <laughs> hashtag women's issues. There we are. Mm -hmm. yep. 7,000 posts. Okay, so we have all sorts of stuff here. It looks like some videos, Planned Parenthood membership, 27 starter pack, um, Emma Watts are looking awesome, trans women are women. Let's see, some things that don't seem to be particularly related to women's issues. Um, yeah, what else? What else could we look at? Uh, let's see, feminism maybe? Let's see what pops up there. Yeah, feminism. Yeah, I should I should use more more hashtags. I just don't I haven't gotten I've gotten lazy about it. Uh, let's see. Check out. Try do hashtag Gloria Steinem. Sure, why not? Oh, actually, let's um we we should actually do uh let's see R B R B G as a hashtag because isn't it her birthday today or was that yesterday? 
Three favorite against Rig, I think, turned 84 uh, yes, yesterday or today. The lady, I, I think the lady right. that wrote the, the, the Equal Rights Amendment? No, like the, the Supreme Court Justice. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This gal. <laughs> the one who's gotten super famous and popular of late and, and is super awesome. Let's see. So, yeah, we could do Gloria Steinem. That certainly pulls, oh, that's just Gloria. I was like, that certainly pulls up weird stuff. Okay, let's try this one. 25,000 posts. Um, I think there's an H, Steinhem. Nope. No? No, because no, this is her. <laughs> oh, there she is, yeah. All right. So I don't know how many people like check that out every day, but. Yeah, that's you know, a good idea, we should do that. But if what they about that Equal Rights Amendment? All right. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's see. Looks like maybe it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing to all people. Let's try just equal. <laughs> it's all yeah. spelled out. <laughs> yeah. I got a little weird toward the bottom there. <laughs> yeah. All the sorts of cool voting and suffragette stuff. And that's cool. And um, something else that I just figured out recently. Uh huh. Let me go on here again on my phone. Um, okay, so I've got here. Why don't you pull up like the first image on NFBPW? All right. Yeah, let's see. What I can. Let's go back to NFBWC. There we go. So here. Okay, click click uh, on that first or. How come it's not showing at the bottom the little heart and the comment and the... That's here. See, I can love it. BPW Colorado uh, loves it. Well, mine looks different on my phone. Yeah, I don't know. Can you see? Yeah. Well, you see that little triangle? Well, so a heart is liking the picture. Yeah. And then the comment, you can make a comment. But that arrow thing... So this is weird because I don't know why this is popping up on our NFBPWC site. I, should, I ought to just delete these things. Oops, block this user. I mean, this is me. So I don't know how to get that off. I will try and get it off later. But this is like a local. Well, I don't think I don't it's know. funny. I don't think the post post and Pennsylvania are not going to be interested in this. Um, <laughs> so I need to well, figure out what's wrong with my um, with my Hootsuite settings. Yeah, because somebody else shouldn't be able to post pictures on there. No, no, I posted it. But, but oh. I think it, it's accidentally when I, I have sort of a, a mass posting group on my Hootsuite where I could just post to all of the NFPPWC oh, yeah, right. once. And I think I'm accidentally including um, the national when I'm posting things to the state. So anyway, okay. sorry guys for... Well, but can you see my... Um, yeah. You see the... I can see it. The, the, the triangle thing or kind of looks like a little plane. Uh -huh. If you click on there, then you can search for people to send that particular post to. Huh. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe if you click those three little. Yeah, the three three, three dots in the uh, lower right corner. Report, embed, and cancel. But maybe oh. that's when you're just looking at your own post. See, right now I'm, I'm apparently logged in as BPW Colorado, and so it thinks this is me just looking at somebody else's profile. So let's, let's go back to BPW Colorado and see what we can do when it's your own profile. Maybe it's Well, just. I don't think there's any pictures on there, are there? It should be. I don't know why there aren't. I don't know why they're not showing, because it should be. That's a little bit weird. Here, let me see. C-W-C-O. Yeah, I don't that's... see any posts. There's um... something funky here. Okay, so I will try and figure out what's wrong there. Make myself a note. Um, it, this is all my, this is me. This is me having my Hootsuite set up wrong. So I think I've just got my, my BPW Colorado Instagram pointing the wrong direction or pointing the wrong but if you can, if you send a particular post, like for example, uh, I did a song Misty, you know. The oh, I know why this doesn't work. I know why this isn't working. Okay. Um, it's because so, of the weird who's sweet thing, because you know, after you do the four steps to repost it on Instagram, when I go back and try to repost the same picture on our, on our, my, our second profile, it won't let me because I've already shared it once. 
And so I think that is, that is what is going on there. Well, anyways, like, so then I, I will send that particular post to, um, wedding planner, um, and, you know, other people that I'm following, like wedding planners, and I'll say, this is a great song for a wedding. Okay, so I don't know how it would apply with BPW, but I'm just giving you that as an example. No, that's a great example. Yeah. So how about other questions about Instagram? Yeah, how do you, uh, do you just go to Instagram and you set up an account, or how do you do it from the yeah. beginning? Oh, here, let's, 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 uh, let's see here. How do I log out here? Log out. There we go. Yeah, just like this. Name. You would make a username, make a password. And hit sign up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's it's not hard to do. And one of the things, as you can see in this little picture that's going by, um, when you do get to Instagram, when you're going to post a picture somewhere, well, here, let me let me go back to the part where I'm logged in. Hang on a second here. I don't want to log in with Facebook. I really can't log in. Okay, so BPWCO. And that is All right, let me figure out what our password is. Um, let's see here. Oh, for Pete's sake. One of these days. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Too many passwords. That's what my life is. Okay, so apparently we can't ever get in again. Hang on, I'm gonna stop sharing for a minute so I can go look up our password. I've got them all written down. <laughs> <laughs> That's just embarrassing. <laughs> So don't ever write your passwords down. It's terribly insecure and you should definitely not do this. But I don't know how else to memorize all these stupid passwords. So there we are. <laughs> all right, let's see how to get into the BPW comment page. Okay, so let me get back here. All right, so now I am officially logged in as BPW Colorado. Let me get myself back to where I can share at my screen. Share screen. Share screen. All right, so I'm going to upload a picture. Cancel. How do I upload a picture? Upload photo, there we go. So I'm going to post, let me find a BPW picture of some kind here. Oh. Uh, and our, our turning points flyer. So we're going to post this flyer that we've made. Whoa, that's not where I wanted that. Huh. Let's not do that. Let's see, did it actually, you <laughs> saved it. That's so annoying. Edit profile. Good crying, Minnie. Sorry, guys. So apparently it's super easy to change your image on Remove current photo. All right. Ch upload photo. So now we find BPW Colorado logo square. And there's us again, finally. All right. So am I just completely stupid, Lori? How am I supposed to like upload something here? This is so weird. What are you what are you looking for? I'm just trying to like put a picture on our Instagram. Oh. Uh. So Lori, oh, here, I'll, I'll follow Lori. And then we have this thing, discover people. There's your bride to be thing. Maybe this will let me put my pictures up. This is so weird. Okay, so this is what I do and I can't figure out how to do something on social media. So here we are. How to post Instagram photo from PC. Because I know how to do it from my phone. Click the camera button, then select the Polaroid icons. Oh, okay. All right, so click the camera button. Maybe. Try it again, the camera. Hmm. <laughs> like, am I just brain dead, guys? Um, see, workaround. 
Click the camera button, select the Polaroid icons on the lower right of the app. This prompt you to select a photo from your drive. Maybe they've got pictures on here. That is bizarre. Come on. There we go. No, I do not. Okay. So this is not what Instagram looks like on Chrome. So the upshot is, unless you super love Instagram, I would personally recommend doing this from your phone app. Because apparently, it's not possible to actually post photos. Oh, here we go. Experience the best version of Instagram by getting the app. So I can download an app and install it on my computer from the App Store or from Microsoft or Google Play or whatever. But I can't just upload pictures this way. So anyway, so I'm going to log out for a second so I can at least show you what I was going to show you a second ago. I'm going to try it on my, my iPad. Yeah. So basically, if you watch this kind of little screen share go by, this is, this is how it works. See how you have, like, you can adjust the filters, the brightness, the contrast, the structure. Like, you can do all sorts of weird things. Like, if you notice people putting, you know, the funky fades and the blurry, you know, the kind of misty-looking pictures. Like, you can do all that kind of funky stuff with your Instagram and make your pictures look extra cool, which I think is why the millennials are super into this, is because it's fun to play with. You can do all sorts of neat stuff with it. Um, or you can just post pictures. Depends on what you're into. Sorry, that was like the world's longest answer to your question, Linda. Did that make any sense at all? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just don't get it, but okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know what you're saying, but I don't get the fascination. <laughs> I don't get the fascination either, so yeah. Here. Why is Instagram cool? Yeah. <laughs> but let's see. What makes Instagram cool? So let's see what people are doing with it. It turns photos into a social object. It's iPhone only. User integrated is most optimized, instant feedback, and they have a nice team. So there we go. See, now we know. <clears throat> but see, like this guy, this is kind of a funky filter thing that, that this dude has done with his little ostriches. So even though he didn't have a really fancy camera, you can still make neat stuff here. People love it because it makes them feel like artists. Huh, okay. So I, I guess so it's more of an artistic expression thing. So you're not just posting vacation photos because that, I don't know, makes you feel like your grandma with one of those old slide projectors where, you know, like the little, the, the, the rotating thing that my grandma used to have with the big, you know, the 35 millimeter slides on it. And, and if you just post post pictures from your vacation, maybe there's some air of that attached to it. I'm not really sure. So, yeah. Um, I think Deneen was going to maybe try and join us later. That would probably be an awesome question to ask her in the next class because I think she does more Instagram than I do. I, I have yet to figure out the fascination, but I, I learned I learned from Deneen why Twitter is fascinating, and I was never fascinated with that either. So there we are. <laughs> How about other questions? Who has other questions about anything social media related? Can you find out how many people uh, click on the uh, NFBPW Instagram page? Um, probably. Let's see here. Okay. Twenty-seven posts, three followers. So, and this one has had no likes and no, so basically, let's see when the last time somebody liked something. If there's somebody like that, so I can click on this little heart okay, here, that's and I can see that Cherry Blossom Reiki liked our picture. So that's, that's Michelle, one of the members of um, BPW Boulder, who's been really involved in this. So nobody liked this one, nobody liked this one. So far, when you only have three followers, it's hard to get likes is, I guess, the, the uh, <laughs> How come it says three followers nice and one follow follower? We, 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 oh, you're following somebody else. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, should, I should definitely follow. Whoops. I guess Michelle. Michelle. Michelle right now. So that's Michelle. She's our, one of our members from Boulder. And is on our committee. 
other yeah, I'm sorry I haven't I've missed the last few of these oh no it's okay you really they're, they're supposed to you know show up if you feel like you need to learn something and and if you don't you don't have to come unlike a committee meeting where you're supposed to show up <laughs> cool <coughs> so let's see so Debbie did you have any questions I think that's the other person who's on the call I have questions about what the dog is doing out there, but other than that. I'm sorry. I, I just got back. I, I just interested. I know how to do LinkedIn. I don't even have a Facebook account. I don't know any of this. So oh, I was cool. interested in seeing what you were offering. We are doing all sorts of stuff. Um, okay. We've done some Facebook group stuff before. Let me see if I can figure out how to log in. And honestly, I can't even, I don't have time to read all my regular emails. I can't even imagine doing Facebook. I look at my husband's because he joined a couple groups I like. <laughs> yeah. Well, that works too. Although, I mean, like, so, so what do you, what do you do? What is your, what do you do for a living? Um, I, I do organization development. Um, I basically do HR, but not the typical HR. I do learning and development and employee engagement and that kind of stuff. Okay. So is it the sort of thing where, you know, where you want to be able to make connections on social media so that people send you business or you're happily employed somewhere and don't really need that at this point in your life? Um, I actually am job searching, but I, I think I've mastered LinkedIn and I don't really want to do Facebook. Um, but I, I do know that people use other social media for job searching and yeah. And if I can learn that kind of stuff, that'd be great. I mean, I have actually five yeah. interviews this week, which is awesome, awesome, but I don't assume that any of it's going to happen, you know? Right. <laughs> um, I went to a LinkedIn conference a couple years ago, and one of the things, one of the gals had this really interesting um, way that she was approaching LinkedIn, which was searching for all of your alma maters and then like contacting random people in your area or who work for the company you want to work for who went to your college because there's something oh. about having some kind of background in common. So, you know, Hey, my name is whatever. And I went to your high school and I noticed that you work for the such and so in Denver and I actually working in that area. Do you know anyone who might be looking for someone with my skills? And they, and she, what she said was, it was amazing how many people that as long as you had that kind of little thing in common foot in the door that people were really responsive to that. Whereas otherwise it would be really spammy. Oh, but apparently you can get away with that as long as you know, you all went to the same college or, <laughs> the same place like as long as you've got some kind of reason to reach out for them specifically um what you don't want to do is um because there was a really good article um a while back about like how not to do linkedin yeah and it was this guy who was basically um emailing the, the woman who was writing the article and you know i noticed that you have um, a website and we work with many people in your field and Ugh. You know, like people who just connect with you, it's like, so I noticed you wanted to connect with me. What were you hoping that we, well, I'd like to set up a time for a phone call. You're like, yeah, no, no, we don't start with a phone call first. You tell me what you want. Exactly. <laughs> and how you can help me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it was some really good advice about how not to be that guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Using to strike up a conversation. Make sure you actually looked at their stuff. I mean, there is, uh, for me, there is nothing more annoying than having some recruiter reach out and try to recruit me for a nursing position. And I'm a physician. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a nurse, but the fact that you're recruiting me for a nursing position tells me you did not even bother to read my profile, which I went to all the bother of creating. So if you can't right. bother to even find out what my job description is, I am going to block you and your entire firm because you suck at this. Right. <laughs> So yeah, there, there's definitely just, you know, and so, someone said this is just social skills and, and mm -hmm. kind of a lost art these days, and which was wonderful. I mean, I, I've been doing, I mean, I, I grew up in Nebraska, and so like thank you notes after job interviews, people love that. Nobody does it anymore. <laughs> and because nobody does it anymore, people remember you because you're the one who sent, you know, 12 different thank you notes after a day long interview with everyone you met. And it takes a long time, but it's so worth the two hours I put into it because people remember that. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The common courtesy is uh -huh. a big thing. The hi, I'm not going to just waste your time over nothing. You know, I have a reason to be getting a hold of you if you don't want to help. Thanks anyway. You know, there's, there's loads of ways to waste it to handle it well. But I, I agree. I think LinkedIn is probably like if you're job hunting, that's a good place to do it. Yeah. I think it's actually not a bad place to job hunt, depending on what kind of job you're looking for and depending on how, how much you hang out there. Like, 
I could probably look for a job on Facebook because I'm in three different psychiatrist um, Facebook groups and plus the Denver physician moms group. And I mean, I was actually just getting lawyer recommendations from them yesterday and I got like four or five different names. And so <laughs> if you already have kind of a community of people who sort of kind of know you on Facebook, I mean, they don't have to know you very well, but they, they know that you exist and have seen you post things. And that's right. sort of the bar for Facebook is that you can let people know, Hey, I'm looking for blah, 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 an IT position in such and so town, you know, on this level. And people will, you know, get back with you about stuff like that. But it's, it's more of a, that's more on the level of sort of one-on-one -on -one networking. Like if you'd go to a BPW meeting and say, Hey ladies, I'm, I'm in between jobs and I'm looking for such and so, and somebody might know somebody who can help you out. So. Right. Yeah. Now are, are, now are you in a, are, are you in one of our chapters or are you just kind of, are you just found the, found the, the class? I've been, I've been getting your emails for a long time, but I'm not in a group or anything. And I was just like, eh, I can jump in and out between bedtime and, and we'll see what I, what it's all about. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So where do you live? I live in Lowry. Okay. Lowry, like, um, like the other side of Denver? Uh, yeah. Kind of near Cherry Creek. Yep. I know exactly where that is. Okay. We're actually just over there this, this weekend. Um, actually looking at houses. My, my daughter is going to be going to DSA starting next year. And so we're moving across town. So we ah. we're doing the big loop and we oh. love a Hawaiian coffee shop. That place is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Maui Wowie. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was so cute. And they had smoothies with umbrellas. But the trouble with that though, is that then you get busted. Cause if you get a smoothie and then you leave the umbrella in the car, then your kid knows you went out for treats without them. <laughs> that's funny so how old are your kiddos uh he's gonna be three next month oh how fun yeah that's so sweet yeah mine's 12 now she's doing her own bedtime I don't know. wow i mean we, we still need mom's participation but she can mostly handle all of the main tasks I mean, that's good tasks. we're still brushing oh. teeth <laughs> <laughs> So DSA, she's going to the Denver School of Art. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I did my presentation there a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah, no, she's super excited. She's going to do creative writing. So that's, uh, that was, it, it was sort of, um, the, the process for getting in is, is sort of, you know, cruel and unusual for introverts because, you know, there's all this auditioning and getting up in front of panels of judges to watch you do this thing and interview you and all these things, which I suppose works really great for the singers and the dancers and the theater majors. The, the writers, I can tell you, do not find that to be fun. <laughs> the introverts would much rather just mail in some samples of their writing and hope for the best, <laughs> but she did it. She made it through the panel interview, so we were really proud of her. <laughs> Hey, Chanel, what, what about Tumblr? I've never been able to figure out Tumblr. Is that even worth doing? Um, I think it was a thing for a while. I'm not sure if it's still a thing. Let's is see. Is it pictures too? Or? It's Tumblr. Is it, is it dying? Is Tumblr a dying breed? Oh, this is those. Okay. Yeah. This is like the people who do like the weird long conversations that are hilarious. No, I do. I do like Tumblr. I don't hang out there, but it seems to be like a fun place to go and read other people's snarky awesomeness because the internet is full of such people who are geniuses and I am not. And I like to read their stuff. Um, huh. But yeah. Uh, that doesn't look too. It, it is, this is just like an article about why, why Tumblr doesn't, isn't awful. Let's see how Yahoo derailed Tumblr. Is Tumblr dead? Hmm. Being a blogger, I feel Tumblr is one of the best platforms to create creative content. Content, thousands of people sharing ideas. Let's see. So apparently, there is there are lots of people who think it's still awesome. Let's see what's on Tumblr. Uh, get started. It's so easy to use. It's hard to explain. Photos, gifs. <laughs> I don't think it's easy to learn. Basically, it's a bunch of blogs, is what it looks like. A bunch of sort of linked up blogs. Hmm. Yeah. So I think we're thinking about making it one for NFBPWC maybe this fall. Um, but it's not, not something that we have committed to at this point, just because we've got, I don't know, six different social media profiles we're managing as it is. And we've got all the really big ones. Like I went through and... <laughs> on, you know, how, how many percent each one of the market share has. Of course, you know, Facebook is by far the biggest, but all the other ones are pretty big too. And um, we just decided to go with the six biggest. <laughs> no, Tumblr's cool. 
I, I, as opposed to Tinder, which is not cool. Six, oh, hang on. So, and, and say the six biggest, Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, LinkedIn. Not in this order. I'm just picking them out of the air. Um, Instagram. I think those are the top six. So that's where we went. So let's see. Other LinkedIn tips. What else did the, the ladies say? Other than messaging people and... Yeah, just, just making really good use of the geographical search functions, like so you can really nail down to exactly what area you want to be in and what people, um, who works for whatever organization that, because as long as you've got enough friends of friends, you can probably some, find someone who's at least a second or third connection who works at the company that is your dream job, and then you can message them because they're friends of friends, and it, then it works. So that, that was, that's all I remember from that thing, though. Aren't they charging you now, like, to message people on LinkedIn? I think above a certain number of them, yes, but I think you can send a few because I have just random friends who send me, you know, congratulations on your work anniversary stuff, hmm. which I always find sort of amusing because a, a, several of my work anniversaries are sort of, I don't know, fabricated is the wrong word, but it's arbitrary. Arbitrary is probably the word. Like you just sort of throw up places that you have been, you've been trained or that you once worked at and just pick a random date and then people start. And that what you don't realize is that people will get notified of that random date you picked and start congratulating you like it's a significant event, which is like, whoops. So <laughs> I discovered that the hard way. <laughs> so let's see other questions. We got about 15 minutes. What other things do people want to know about? So Debbie does not want to learn about Facebook. Any interest in Twitter? Yeah. All right, cool. I think, um, let's see, let me finally find our YouTube channel because I think we, we actually had a really good talk on Twitter. I think it was last month. Deneen actually brought slides and everything. She, I, I tend to just show up here and wing it and kind of run through things. Deneen get prepares and stuff. Um, Twitter, YouTube. I know you posted it on YouTube. There we are. So if you go here, you will see Deneen's super awesome video on um, all the cool things you can do with Twitter. Okay. And that's only 140 characters, so maybe we'll be less uh, time intensive. Oh, wow. Okay, NFBP. So that's kind of cool. Um, and if you haven't used this already, I'm going to go ahead and log into our Hootsuite account just to kind of show you guys how this works. This is, this is the back end of how I do this and still have a full-time job. So here's our dashboard. So I'm going to give you guys a secret peek of all the things I've got scheduled for the rest of the month. So here's my publisher and here's everything we have posted for the month for NFBPWC. And then here's our past scheduled things. And so you can basically schedule it so that everything goes out at once. Here, let me try. It's better. You can see it better on a month. So you can kind of see all the cool things we have posted over the course of the month. The red ones are things that failed for whatever connection reasons or whatnot. And then what I can do, the cool thing about that is if I see that I've got too many things posted on one day, I can kind of drag them around. Like I could move this one here over to Monday because we've already got something on that Saturday. But I'm going to leave it here because I want both that day. Um, but basically what it is is you make like a group. So I have this cool group here of 16 social media profiles that belong to either NFBPWC or BPW Colorado. And so you can actually set it up so that it posts to all of your profiles at once. So if I clear that, here's me, here's my, here's my private practice and my businesses. And so here's all my little Facebook groups and LinkedIn's and whatever. And I can schedule, like when my newsletter comes out, I can type in, you know, Hey, check out the newsletter at, you know, at www.awesome.com. And then I can either send now or I can schedule it like this and tell it that I, I want it to show up on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. because I figure that my professional ladies that I'm target marketing are going to probably be on Facebook more on the weekend when they don't have to be at work. Um, and then I can just schedule it to go out. So I don't actually have to be on Facebook as much as it looks like I'm on Facebook because I can schedule. I could if I wanted to schedule something to come out every single day of the week if I wanted. Um, so without me being involved. you're showing how to schedule something on Facebook. This is if you have a Hootsuite account. We we have a Hootsuite uh, account through a BPWC um, that we got through a nonprofit thing. It's like for a personal membership, I think it's like ten bucks a month. It's not bad if you've got a business and it saves you a load of time. Um, we also have an organization, as you can see, like here's our NFBPWC, 
and here are all the profiles that belong to us and I've got different groups like here's the master group of every profile we have here's just for the national here's just for the state and then here's like for South Florida and then here are like the people who are you know part of the, the team with me so there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do with Hootsuite um, apparently there's another there's another app that does something kind of like this and I think Deneen uses that one I don't remember what it is but it's in the video and I know she mentioned that last month which one that she likes um, I've been doing Hootsuite for a while so I'm just too lazy to move. <laughs> but it is handy. And honestly, I let my thing lapse for a while. And I didn't realize how often I do actually want to post to a whole bunch of places at once. And it was just a pain. And so I re-upped my membership, just even just as me personally, because I didn't feel like being on social media as often as I needed to be to try and keep a presence there. If that makes any sense. So let's see. Did we post our, I think we also posted our NFBPWC social media etiquette class. We did that one earlier in the year. We did that in, in cooperation with our, um, our, uh, cha our uh, virtual chapter. Some of our ladies there are in virtual chapter. And they did some cool stuff here. Oops. So here's a social media etiquette class. So that's another fun one to check out if you want to learn how, you know, how to make friends and influence people on on the interwebs. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking too much. So what other, what other questions do you guys have? And what other stuff can we work on? This is so funny that YouTube, YouTube knows what I like. Which well, is um, I, I think there, there's supposed to be a way to schedule things on Facebook, but I've never been able there to. There is. Um, I, I just like doing it because I can do it off all, all the social media platforms at once. I mean, you can schedule Facebook. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly how to do it. There is, but you can also link up your Facebook and Twitter so that every time you post something on Facebook, it automatically goes to your Twitter. So that'll kind of automate some of it. Oh, in your settings? An outside app if you want to post to, you know, five or six social media streams at once. So... Hmm. Any other questions, thoughts, things people wanted to learn about today that we have not covered? Okay, going once, going twice. Yeah, I'm just gonna I need to rest. All right. Well, I have been um I'm actually I had a new job this week, so I've been driving back and forth for orientation. So I am fine stopping 10 minutes early. Everybody else is fine stopping 10 minutes early. Yep. And if you have other questions, feel free to message me. If you send messages through any of the NFBPWC profiles, it'll get to me. So I think why you couldn't find my Twitter is it's got to be capital L and capital D. Really? L Dameron, capital L, and then capital D, and then small a m e r o n i bet put the the at thing first oh okay nope huh i'm looking right at it here we'll hold up to the screen let's see if we can let's make you big and i'll see if i can figure out what the problem is here let's see you see that's it? Super weird. I wonder if you don't have it set to public or something. I don't even know if that's a possible thing to do. L Dameron. That is super weird. And let's see. Let's see if um, Google has any any better luck finding you. Lori Dameron. See now you now you're there. That is super weird. Why well, wasn't able to find you before? Because there you clearly are. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll, we'll follow you. There, now we've followed you. <laughs> okay. Cool picture. Where's that at? That's right below Druid Arch in Needles District Canyonlands. Nice. And, and that's what I've been using for the present, like to market my presentation. But I'm going to change it to something like a polar bear. Because, I mean, I'm attached to that picture because it's my favorite place on the planet. But... It doesn't do anything for anyone else. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. 
Well, thanks. But uh, my friend that she's my sponsor that owns a marketing company, Endpoint Direct in Denver. Uh-huh. She's sending all my stuff to her, a marketing guy in Florida nice. and see if he can come up with a, you know, a better way to, you know, do it. Cool. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping the Al Gore thing will give me some uh, mileage, but oh, on the other hand, some people don't, I, I don't know. It's so crazy. I know. All right. Well, last questions, thoughts, anybody before we call it for the night? All right. Well, I'm going to hit the stop sharing. And hey, thanks a lot. All right. Well, it was great hanging out well, with you. Thank you. For coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you at a meeting soon. <laughs>